Let's talk about our next seven hours of migration and we are going to focus on retire. A very common strategy, if you do not need those resources anymore in your environment, probably you would be retiring them. So we turn off the services that are either redundant or legacy and no longer in use or needed. Right? That is called decommissioning or archiving too. Let me give some examples to you. So you were using on-prem environment. In on-prem, you had your systems. Maybe you had some monitoring system. You had a patch management system. Maybe you had a directory service. Maybe you had a VPN solution. Now you migrated to cloud. So do you still need those services? Probably not. Once you are into cloud, you may look for the equivalent solution available into AWS cloud. So maybe for monitoring, I would start using CloudWatch. So I don't need my on-prem system. Path patch management. Sorry, I write path. It is patch. So let me correct it. So this is patch management. So patch management, I would say I would be using systems manager here for directory services. I may be using managed directory services provided by AWS to me for VPN. I would be using client VPN solutions in AWS. So it depends, right? So it depends on what your services are and whether you need them or not. And if you do not need them, you would probably be retiring them or decommissioning or archiving them. But it cannot be like a blink of an eye decision. You need to think about it. And let's, that's why let's talk about the good, bad and ugly of this. So the PACI migration strategy requires the least fund, time, unique expertise and effort. You have to decommission. You will still need a little bit of expertise to gracefully do the decommissioning, but you do not require a lot of fund or time or unique expertise. You reduce expenditure on ideal resources by retiring, enabling an organization to focus on area that provide more business value and saves resources. So that is what we would be doing. And a careful analysis is required to ensure that retiring any component does not adversely impact other business processes. You need to understand what is the use of that environment, why that application was running, was there any dependency of this application on other application you migrated. So you may need to think thoroughly and then only decide on decommissioning. You must be aware about all upstream dependencies of a workload before you put it onto retire stage. So make sure you have always know that what dependencies are, you have fixed those dependencies or you mitigated those problem and then only you will be thinking of retiring. So that may require little thorough planning. It is not just like turning off something. Now, if an application should be decided, should be retired or not, deciding that can become sometime complicated. Maybe the SME is not present who is anymore with your organization. You do not know in what other places this application was being used. Maybe you have not enough data to make the decision. Maybe the SME has already left and you do not have any documentation anymore. So this can be a challenging process. It's not very straightforward. It sounds straightforward, but when you actually implement it, it can become bottleneck too because nobody wants to take the blame of uh, enterprise application going down because somebody decommissioned something without thinking or without providing much thought around it or without mapping all the dependencies. So just be aware about that. Also, if it is a very legacy system, I don't expect that there would be too much documentation available on that or maybe somebody using it is still or somebody who created that system is still in organization. So that decision sometime can be prolonged. But how you can safely retire things or what can be some of the best practices to follow? Let's talk about that. Now, obviously, AWS services and tool won't apply here. You may be using vendors own specific methods of decommissioning and maybe let's say this is a storage system. So you may have to follow some guideline to decommission those storage devices so your data is not lost or your data cannot be recovered from that. So depending on the industry you are operating, there may be some decommissioning guidelines you may have to follow for especially data holding devices. So best practices. First thing, capture dependencies. What all are dependent on this application? If you know that, you would be better in that place. Also, you can't just say, Tomorrow it is going to be decommissioned without informing anyone you just shut it down. Yes, you would need to inform the stakeholders associated. So they may think around and they may know some dependency. They may have some better suggestion for something. So let's check with stakeholders also. 
what i have seen lots of companies do or what i also personally recommend is that let's put a schedule controlled stop right what we are trying to do here that we are not actually decommissioning anything but let's put that service into a stop state maybe it is a service running in an operating system i stop that or i implement a firewall and block all the connection maybe internal maybe external firewall maybe if it was a virtual machine i pause that virtual machine or suspend that virtual machine just to see what breaks or what happens on other application because of it so better is to schedule a controlled stop verify that information for a while if nothing is breaking maybe you can keep that into the state and then after some time you can come again and then decommission it so that's what could be done maybe a firewall blocking the traffic maybe your vm going into shut pause state or maybe you having service into stop state it depends afterwards shut down application in a controlled manner if nothing is breaking and everything is okay running fine also preserve a setting and data when you uninstall application there may be something like you may not need now but no harm in keeping some size of backup available with that so if you need hopefully something may be needed in future why not a preserve setting and data when i am uninstalling the application and in enterprises it won't be like i just go ahead right click and shut down there would be a change management process to follow so make sure that you follow that change management process it may require some processes like itil based processes to be followed to inform people update cmdb take approval so those all things could be required also disconnect operational tools so maybe you have some connectivity to that maybe your servers are running and so this all needs to be disconnected what i mean here by operational tool let's say this machine was registered into a backup schedule or it was registered into a monitoring platform or into your antivirus system so those have to also be made aware that you no longer need to take backup or perform a scan or perform patching on the system so any operational tool you were using like patching antivirus or scanning or maybe your updates they should be made aware about this particular decommissioning also update asset information whatever servers were involved whatever hardware was required maybe there is a hardware decommissioning process also you have to follow if it is a big data center you may have to carefully and sustainably remove those resources so that all need to be followed based on the guideline of the industry and organizations you are operating in so i have included a link for a documentation which can give you little more information on what you could do to safely decommission your services so these are some best practices application retirement best practices check this this is what i have captured from this documentation on high level but if you want to go in detail go ahead and check this documentation too so hope you are clear with the retire process so we are almost completing the remaining hours seven hours we have one more hour which is retain we will discuss about that into next section join me in next section thank you